I, I'd rather take a test and be done than <laughs> do a whole bunch of homework. My name is Isaiah Bowie and I'm from Kansas City. Uh, I just recently graduated from the University of Kansas and I just recently passed the CPA exam. So I'm working at uh, EY, one of the big four, and I'm doing tax accounting. For me, I don't really measure my time because I feel like when you start measuring time, at least for me, it you start getting like worried, like, oh man, I spent eight hours today, blah, blah, blah. And I just don't like to do that when it comes to studying. I'd rather just think, go in like saying, I want to get done with chapter one today. I want to get done with chapter two today. And if I understand chapter two, then I'm done. It could take me three hours, it could take me eight hours, it could take me four hours, it doesn't matter. As long as I, so I'll go in saying, okay, I want to get done with this section and I want to get down with the multiple choice. And then after that, I'm done for the day. And so as long as I accomplished that and I felt comfortable with the material, then I will stop. So that's how I would study every day. So I would ne so some days it would be like I would study a whole eight, nine hours. And then some days it would be like, oh, especially with reg, reg just clicks. So some days for reg, I would study like two, two or three hours and be like, okay, I understand. I understand this section. And then I would just stop for the day, hang out, play video games, do whatever, and then start again the next day. Multiple choice. So... I think audit was a good one because for the multiple choice, the way I studied for the CPA multiple choices, I just, I used Becker. I was able to get Becker for my study program. I just did multiple choice questions all the time. Like I would sit through, shuffle through a hundred of them or the tests are like laid out with like 30 something each test lit. I would just go through random 30 questions every, like I would just sit there until I like naturally knew how to do the answer like for audit that was key for that one I just sat through uh, that's why I was able to get through the audit multiple choice so quick because I was like okay I like felt comfortable with just sitting through reading the question going oh that doesn't make sense that doesn't make sense and I would just do that studying I would spend like a day or two just okay I'm gonna spend four or five hours I guess just going through I would do maybe six testlets of 36 questions like each time until I I could get it down like a question per every 30 seconds and then once I felt confident doing that I was like okay I'm I feel confident enough to like get hit with new multiple choice questions if I need to when you're doing the multiple choice so many times uh, for me I, I notice like patterns in it so like they'll use the pattern will usually show like if they're like if they're asking about examinations or something like that for example they're gonna be asking like does an examination do this, this, and this? And there's only so many things that they're gonna ask. So when you go through the multiple choice so many questions and you know that examinations do X, Y, and Z, and the multiple choice ask you only X, Y, and Z, and that's the ones, then you, I start picking up on like the fact that, okay, like there's only so many ways they're gonna ask a question about this specific topic. If they're asking me a completely different question that's about the same topic, then that means that that's a completely different, like <laughs> the answers that I get, I can at least mark out the answers that I know aren't it. So it's like, okay, usually exa examinations don't have this, but this is including the multiple choice. So I know this is not it. And that's how I would kind of deduct my, my answers for doing that. I did a lot of repetition. So what I realized is if once you knew how to do like the simulations, then you could do the multiple choice or, or, or vice versa as well. So if, if I knew how to do a multiple choice, it's like, okay, the simulations, I would just keep in the back of my mind, especially in the very beginning, it was very overwhelming. Like the first month of studying, I'd even look at the simulations because I was like, what am I supposed to do with this? <laughs> like, like, like how there's no way I can like do this on a, on the actual test. But then I started realizing that it's really just longer multiple choice questions. So if so, if you just kind of break it down, take your time, read it line by line, open each individual exhibit, and just analyze that, you, they're gonna the way that they I feel like they have it set up is to where you could they have main ideas that are pointed out that are like okay, this is important information that you need to read. And sometimes they have things that are tricky, but I felt like at least most of the time during like my studying. It was pretty like, it wasn't as tricky as, uh, there's some tricks here and there, but I felt like for the most part, they gave you all the main information you needed. 
So I would just say repetition, just doing those over and understanding the ones that you've studied before. So, okay, I have two days, and let's say you're on reg one or whatever. Reg day one I, I, of reg one, I would uh, go through the lecture, do multiple choice. That's it. That's it. Just stop there, do multiple choice, feel comfortable with the multiple choice that I'm doing. So however long that takes. Then the next day, I would just focus only on Sims. So that second day, I would just go through the Sims, get really comfortable with those, be like, okay, I, if I got a random question of these group of Sims, I should be able to answer at least like four out of five of them. And then if like, let's say for example, I, that second day, it only took me like two hours to go through the Sims. I'm like, man, I got done in two hours. I would probably spend like an extra hour just mixing it up so I would like do a Tesla to where I did some multiple choice with a added sim in so I can get some random questions in there and so I could like just feel comfortable with them. Uh, far I took notes, I created a whole notebook of like every section, every, like everything I thought was important and that was great. I think I did that for far and reg and Based on my scores, my scores are in the 90s for those. And I think it's because I took notes. And for me, it's because taking notes, like it helped me. I don't know, when you're, uh, just when I write, I feel like I'm understanding something a lot more. And so I, for whatever reason, between FAR and REG, I took notes on those, on all those sections and I did the best on those. Uh, audit and, and BC, I did not take notes because there was just so many words and like audit has no numbers in it. and. I didn't want to rewrite the book, so I was like, you know what, I'm just going to read the book, uh, no notes, uh, <laughs> and let's just see how that goes. And I, I still did pretty well, I still obviously passed, but um, I think the difference is, for for me at least, was taking notes. Taking notes definitely uh, helped, helped my understanding for sure. I pretty much wrote down everything, like everything I thought, like, oh, maybe they could ask me this or this, and it's in that just writing the notes took up like an hour an extra hour per chapter of writing notes that's why i stopped after reg i was like you know what i don't like i was like you know what i don't want to keep spending two or three hours just writing notes when i have a book in front of me so but i would just write down everything i thought was important acronyms anything that they tell you is an acronym i would definitely write down that and then put the answer like put what it stands for uh, equations for certain problems for far I would definitely like that's a for sure something I would write down 